Devon Whaley and no, pardon me, Chase Hayden at running back. Story trying to spin his way away from trouble, but he got licked. He took a shot, and now we got a flag. Jared Cornelius, the senior leader, protecting his quarterback with words and shoves. And another flag, and a shot to the face of Grayson Gunner. And another flag. And now the Ole Miss coaches out there to peel their guys back. I don't know if anybody has any laundry left. We got five flags on the field. It all started with a hard hit from Vernon Dasher. And it seemed like that's what Jared Cornelius took exception with. Dasher coming in from the right side, number three. And that could very well be targeting. Yeah, that's, that's a dirty play right there. Quarterback's already going down. You come in, lower your head, spear him. And so that's why Cornelius got into it. So the officials having to sort out all the flags. And I wouldn't be surprised if the guys upstairs... Doug Lombarger, our replay official, is also taking a look at targeting. Man, that's a lot of paperwork. <laughs> I don't even know at that point who to throw the flag on. Everybody's pushing, everybody's throwing, trying to defend Ty Story. They're gonna... In addition to looking at unsportsmanlike penalties is whether or not a punch was thrown and Arkansas tied in Grayson Gunner at one point during that scrum. This went on for a while. Here's a possible targeting. Number three coming in. Shot to the back of the head. Fouls. Personal foul. Targeting with the crown of the helmet on the defense. After the play, multiple unsportsmanlike conduct fouls on both teams. That's unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 74, 89 offense. Number 12, 26 defense. Those fouls offset, it will be, targeting will be reviewed. You know it's bad when you got to bring your notes up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to tell you yeah. all the numbers you got to read off. They're going to review the targeting. We're going to try to sort some things out. We've got 11.42 to go in a touchdown game. 